to the 10th Annual Indo-American Community Federation Unity Dinner. Yes, please, how about a round of applause? My name is Jim Weider. I'm formerly retired from Channel 7. I'm your host for tonight. I'm also active in Alameda County. I have a business and ran the Hayward Chamber of Commerce in, from 2007 to 2009. I want to thank uh, the board for inviting me to be your MC for tonight, and I want to welcome each and every one of you to what's going to be an exciting program. Did, how did everyone get here? Did everyone row here by boat, or did you drive here? No, uh, no rain song people, okay? Um, we have a full evening, and we've got to get right to it. We're going to uh, dazzle you, hopefully. We're going to entertain you, and we're also going to uh, reconnect with you and with the board and with the goals of the IACF. Before we get to the national anthem and dinner, we just want to make a couple of very quick announcements, and then we're going to have our anthem, our national anthem, and our Indian anthem as well. There's a real opportunity here to connect with uh, the founder of the IACF, Jivan Suchi, and the work that he is doing in honor of his son, Amit. I had the pleasure of uh, interviewing Jivan for KCTH-TV about three months ago, and he's produced a book called The Last Smile. The Last Smile, copies of that book chronicling the life and times of his son, Amit, and his struggles with over-the-counter steroids is chronicled in the book that's available to the far left corner of the building. We have a full program with many awards which will be honoring the community and the efforts to unify the community post 9-11. Let's begin with Miss Z, is she here? To lead us in our national anthem. In honor of uh, diversity, please join me in singing the national anthem, the Star Spangled Banner. Together, please. Oh, say, can't you see? She hit all the high notes, too. Very well. Very good. We have our contingent come up to sing the Indian National Anthem. Shubhnaam 
Assemblyperson Mary Hayashi and Congressman Jerry McNerney after dinner. Bon appetit. We'll see you in a half hour. As our program continues, we're going to have some wonderful dancers coming out in just a moment. And uh, throughout the evening, we're going to honor those members of the community who are galvanizing our community. This entire process began after 9-11. 9-11 has meaning to everyone in here. And we'll talk about that as the evening continues. Our first speaker tonight, and we're very privileged to have Assemblymember Mary Hayashi. Mary has a strong record of passing legislation and advocating on behalf of her constituents. During this past session, Assemblymember Hayashi had 13 of her 15 bills signed into law by the governor. And as a former Capitol Television report, yes, you're gonna pop. You can, you can clap, and as a former Capitol Television reporter, I can tell you that's an incredibly different, difficult thing to do. She has one of the highest signing rates of all the state legislators, and that goes a long way in terms of your credibility and also representing your district with honor, dignity, and integrity. Assemblymember Hayashi is going to come up and she's going to introduce Congressman Jerry McNerney. So without further ado, would you please give me a warm round of applause for Assemblymember Mary Hayashi. Mary. Thank you very much for that uh, very kind introduction. Um, I'm also from Hayward, so you know it's great to see other uh, folks here at this dinner from Hayward as well. Um, good evening, everyone. Um, I am very pleased to be part of your program tonight uh, once again. I've always uh, come to this great event because this is such a great celebration. Um, here in the Bay Area. As many of you have seen recently in the papers, uh, the census reports that Alameda County now is one of the most diverse uh, counties in the state. And Fremont now is the most Asian city in Alameda County. So, and, and, I, and I see our uh, great elected officials here tonight. Um, Su Chen, who was the first Chinese American woman to represent uh, Fremont City Council, is with us, as well as Anu Natarajan, who was the first Indo American woman to uh, get elected to the Fremont City Council, and was very privileged to be able to support her from day one and uh, just watch her over the years on the Fremont City Council do a great job. It has been a tremendous privilege. And I know that uh, she will continue to do great things for us in the future. Um, I just wanted to say briefly that as first generation Korean American immigrants, I came to this country when I was 12 years old and had to learn English, grew up in Orange County, and grew up with very traditional uh, Asian parents who expected girls to get married and have many children. That was that was the expectation that my parents had. And, um, you know, I decided to pursue my own career and come up to the Bay Area, go to college, and uh, obtain a bachelor's degree and went on and got a master's in business. And now I am in public service. And when I look at the things that I've been able to do, I know that that is, uh, that is because the organizations like yours supports communities, uh, diverse communities, to, to be able to excel and achieve the California dream. And so I know the work that you're doing um, tonight and the work that you've been doing for the past 10 years have made a, a tremendous difference in many families' lives. So thank you for all you do. And to celebrate tonight's 10th anniversary, uh, occasion, um, I have brought a very special California State Assembly resolution to present to the organization. Uh, Javon, would you like to come up and receive the resolution? And what I would like to do um, is invite my colleague, um, Assemblymember Bob Wykowski, I know who's in the audience, to, to come up and uh, present it with me because it is a state assembly resolution. Oh, he brought one to back. And I'm not sure if it says different things, but um, I will just paraphrase or summarize the uh, special resolution from the State Assembly. We are so grateful 
that you have taken your personal time to advocate on behalf of this important community here in Fremont and Alameda County. And you've been doing this for 10 years, bringing different communities together to celebrate diversity and multicultural appreciation opportunities. And we are very uh, supportive and we want to recognize you um, as a community leader and congratulating you for doing this for 10 years. Oh, great. Uh, we, would also, oh, we would also like to invite the president to come up for a short photo op. Thank you. <laughs> Much worse if we didn't have someone like Scott working here for us. 
Um, so I'm, I really want to say a few words about the uh, Indo-American community. Uh, this is a community that is well established in this country. Um, the Indo community is a good family organization. They, they're, they're a good family um, uh, centric. They work hard uh, and they contribute greatly to our community. It's time uh, for this community to stand up and be recognized uh, politically. And that's why it's so critical that there are so many politicians here today, like Bob, Mary, myself, Scott, the mayors, uh, city council members from Pleasanton, uh, and so on. Uh, it gives you the strength, it gives you uh, the ability to present your case, to be represented in uh, Washington, D.C., to be represented in uh, Sacramento, to be represented in our cities. Very important for our communities. Uh, I want to recognize the community for that. Uh, I want to say just one thing about foreign policy. Uh, you know, it's uh, the United States of America and India, India are natural allies. We've been great democracies uh, for many years now, uh, and to see our two countries come together uh, and become allies and become friends uh, and develop mutual understandings uh, is a great asset to our world community that these two incredibly great countries uh, continue that relationship uh, and become closer, uh, develop trade relationships, develop security relationships. Uh, this is an important development for our, uh, for our nation, for our world. Uh, and, uh, tonight we're celebrating uh, seniors. Uh, it's very important we protect Social Security. It's very important we protect Medicare. Uh, we want all of our seniors uh, to be able to retire in dignity uh, without worrying about going bankrupt, without having to worry about uh, dragging their children into bankruptcy. So these are very important ideas for our uh, community and for our nation. Uh, so I want to ask uh, any, anyone here tonight that has issues with uh, federal agencies, please contact my office uh, and we'll be there for you. Uh, we want to continue this great relationship. Uh, right now, uh, I have a uh, certificate to uh, present to Jivan, if he would come forward. Jivan? This is a certificate of special congressional recognition presented to the Indo-American Community Federation. And when I say that, uh, everyone thinks of Jivan. So Jivan, uh, please accept this. Jerry McNerney. You know, what the congressman uh, didn't mention um, is that 9-11 actually was part of the reason why he ran for Congress to begin with. Uh, he became a active politically because of the events of 9-11 and his son joined the Air Force as a direct result of what happened at 9-11. So 9-11 is touches us each and every one of us and that's the whole basis of why the uh, committee is here to promote unity within our community and around the world. Okay, how was dinner by the way? Was it good? How about a round of applause for our hosts here at the Marriott? Thank you very much. We have a wonderful program. Can we get the dancers ready and cue the dancers, Mandy? We, uh, we have a dance program for you for a few moments and immediately after the dance program, uh, has anyone heard the news about Mo Kiyami by any chance? The president of Cal State East Bay is here tonight. Guess what? He has a new job. He's president of San Jose State and we'll be hearing from him in about 15 minutes. Let me talk to you about um, our dance company that's going to be performing here in just a few moments. They're an exciting, captivating, and I'm reading this groovy performance team from uh, the well-renowned dance and fitness company, from a well-renowned dance and fitness company in the Bay Area. They are called Dance Identity. They provide dance and fitness classes in the San Francisco Bay Area for all groups in Bollywood, contemporary, jazz, and hip hop. The company is led by leading Bollywood choreographer, Sharia Mon, who has been choreographing and teaching for the past 12 years 
She has worked in numerous famous blockbuster movies with Bollywood celebrities, um, too, too numerous to mention. Anyway, we heard the music when we were outside. We all heard all the beating and they were working hard. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, dance identity. Let's make it happen. 